Alright, hey guys, so today I'm just going to make a quick video on a new bundle that was released over at Fanatical. This one's called the Killer Bundle Number 11. It has a lot of good games in it, surprisingly. It's $4.99 for 10 Steam games, so you're getting each game for about 50 cents each. And a lot of these haven't been bundled before. Uh, games like the Technomancer, the Signal from Tulva, Forward to the Sky, PewDiePie, Legend of the Brofist, the Swindle, Unloved, Zenith, Think of the Children, Hive Jump, and Icy Frostbite Edition. Really surprised to see the Technomancer in here, because I think when it came out it was like a 40 to 60 dollar game i remember there was a lot of hype for it uh, but the criticism was pretty bad and they were pretty harsh on the game but getting it for 50 cents i think i might give it a try and see if i like it it reminds me a little bit of the older mass effect games although uh, i've seen some gameplay and the gameplay doesn't really look that interesting or engaging but i think it might be sort of enjoyable it's a sci-fi rpg the next game is The Signal from Tolva. This is a first person shooter. Looks rather interesting, although I just got done playing Destiny 2, so this looks a little bit low end compared to uh, Destiny, that's for sure. But looks interesting if you're looking for a first person shooter to check out. Then we have Forward to the Sky, which is an anime themed action adventure game. Looks rather enjoyable. You can complete various puzzles, fight little little monsters here and there. Uh, looks looks like a cute little game. And then we have PewDiePie Legend of the Brofist. This is a psychological horror game as you can see by the tag. So you guys might want to not play this but it looks fun um, so going forward from that the swindle is, the swindle is a steampunk 2d game where you're breaking into various buildings and completing various heists looks rather enjoyable although it does have mixed reviews so i'm not really too sure about that one then we have unloved which looks really cool it's a zombie survival game it reminds me a little bit of killing floor you can team up online with multiple different players it used to be a mod a doom 2 mod and they released a separate like standalone game for it which is rather interesting usually games that are based off mods are super fun and enjoyable and have quite a lot of content especially playing online with other players uh, going forward from that zenith is i don't know what this is it's some sort of action rpg Looks rather interesting, although I probably wouldn't play this. Next couple games are multiplayer games. The first one, Think of the Children, is a game where you go around saving children from getting hurt or killing themselves. Looks rather enjoyable and amusing. You can play locally with up to four players. So this will be a great little party game. And then Hive Jump is an action, a 2D action shooter. You can play with up to four players. I believe this has online multiplayer. This looks super fun. Uh, games that have just a ton of bullets flying all over the place. Looks pretty cool, kind of reminds me of the old Metroid games. And then the final game, Icy Frostbite Edition, it has very positive reviews, although not very many people own the game, or recent reviews, as positive overall, 90% positive, which is pretty crazy. It says it's a narrative-driven post-apocalyptic survival RPG. I have no idea what the game is about, it's hard to tell from the trailer, but if that many people are giving it positive reviews, I'm sure there's something going for it. Uh, so yeah, that's the entire bundle, the killer bundle number 11. Just thought I'd let you guys know, uh, I'm mostly excited about it because I got my hands on the Technomancer. I had that on my wish list for quite some time. I was just waiting for the price to go super low so that I could get my hands on it. And uh, getting it for 50 cents is kind of cool. It's also quite nice to finally be able to get PewDiePie Legend of the Brofist. I've wanted to have that game in my collection. I just didn't want to pay for it. So yeah, uh, overall, I think this bundle is quite nice. $5 for 10 games. I also just wanted to quickly mention, they have this other bundle that I noticed. Uh, it's the Fanatical Simulator bundle for $2.50 you get a bunch of simulator games. Uh, simulators, it's like hit or miss if you enjoy them or not, but if you do enjoy simulators, there's some really good stuff here, especially Giant Machines 2017. I have videos of that game on my channel and I absolutely loved it, uh, riding around these huge freaking vehicles, doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, so yeah, simulators can be really fun and addicting. Uh, if they're done right. Some of them are super boring though, so just keep that in mind. So that's kind of a cool bundle to uh, mention as well. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.